Vikings, or Wackinger, as it's known in Deutschland, is a very fun uh, tile laying game with a twist, and uh, several people were asking for a video walkthrough of it, so I'm happy to oblige. Let's see, um, let's take a look at the board, and uh, it's very bright, very colorful. I don't think um, pictures online really do this board justice. It's just really very pleasant to look at, and the action on this uh, spinning rondelle is just smooth as silk. Uh, not that that's why you buy a board game, but uh, you know, just really solidly put together. Um, ooh, even slide a little bit. But anyway, uh, but enough about that. I'm not really a components guy anyway, I'll, other than to say that it's quite nice. But um, enough about that. Uh, the game itself. We, uh, as players, are leaders of Viking tribes trying to settle new lands down over here and score lots of points. Um, there's really not a lot of raping and pillaging and all the traditional Viking type stuff you would expect. There's a little bit, um, but in a very abstract Euro way type combat. Um, basically over the course of the game we'll be collecting these tiles to build islands um, that st stretch out from west to east and put um, soldiers, nobles, scouts, goldsmiths, and fishermen on those islands so that they can do their thing and score us points. But where do they come from? Why they come from here, the the motherland or fatherland of Viking land. Um, right now the the uh, board is empty, but every turn, and the, this takes place over six turns over the course of the game, one, two, three, four, five, six. Every turn we grab um, all these tiles um, and start placing them around the rondelle. So let's see. Uh, all right, I got a ship. That'll go here. Um, let's see if I get a... Yeah, okay, island. So, here's the rules for how they get set. Um, you know, this is the start point, you know, and it could have been anywhere, it's just kind of arbitrarily right there. Um, as you're drawing tiles, every island tile you put... Uh, the first island tile you put in at the zero, and then every additional island tile you go that way. Every ship tile, you, the first ship tile you put is goes at the 11, and then every remaining ship tile goes this way. So if we continue on, we've got... Another island, so it goes there, continues, and uh, another island, another island, another island, more islands. There'll probably be some more ships in here, or maybe not. Wow, would that be the only uh, island? 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 Oh my goodness! And ship, okay. Well, um, that's why wow, you don't normally see a few more ships, but you know it is all random chance. Um, that means there's going to be a lot more ships uh, going to be hitting us in some of these uh, later rounds because that uh, usually you see at least three or four ships per go around. Um, but that's nice. I mean, it means we're going to have a fairly uh, uh, light opening turn because these are enemy ships that are coming to pillage your newly found colonies, um, and you need to have soldiers to defend yourself from them. So we're not going to be under too terribly much attack this particular turn, but like I said, they'll hit us later. So what's going to happen is, oh wait, no, but there's more. So these are all, these are the 12 land tiles that um, player one and player two, me and my wife in this game, or more players if, um, you know, I think this goes up to four. Um, we only play two, which is a great, great two-player game. Um, we take turns grabbing these tiles, but it's not just the tiles, there's something else we have to put around. The Vikings themselves. So they all come out of a cup, or in our case, the chicken. Now, let's see, I'll just go ahead and grab a handful. I need 12. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and one more. What color will it be? Yellow. Hey, got uh, the whole rainbow. Now, we start laying these guys out in a, in a specific prescribed order. Um, we start with the grays. Um, they go, uh, they, they start working from the 11 backwards. As you can see, here's the 11, and here's a gray. The blues start from the zero forward. So if I take the blues, the third blue will go with the zero. And then after all the blues are done, then we put down the yellows. So I have a yellow, which goes into the one. Then we got the greens. So a lot of greens, um, which are our scouts. So there's going to be a lot of scouts this turn. Two, three, four. Then the nobles. A lot of nobles. Um, and again, you know, every time you play, you know, the, the random draw you get um, around this rondelle can have a really big impact on what your overall strategies are. And let's see, and then one soldier came out, so he went there. So interestingly, um, two enemy ships came out and only one soldier to defend us from them. 
So let's see how this works. So this is now the space that um, players can actually take turns grabbing stuff from. And the position of an item on the rondelle determines how much money it costs to, to buy them. In a two-player game, uh, each player starts with 20 bucks, or no, 20? No, 30, um, 30 gold. I'll probably just call it bucks though. Never could uh, take on the term quid. 30 quid! See, it just doesn't sound right coming from an American, um, even though I live in England. Anyway, um, so this guy over here, this combination, and you'll when you buy something, you buy both. You buy the tile and the Viking. This would cost five. Um, this would cost one. This one costs zero. Um, so we're going to take turns uh, buying them and then placing them in our new um, you know, colonizing land that we're trying to fill out. And I'm the first player, uh, and so let's go ahead and grab one. Looking around... Um, mm, Let's see. I'd like to get this goldsmith. Should I do it right away? That's that's really helping out player two. Right off the bat, we have tough choices. Um, all right. I am going to um, take this goldsmith, and I'll explain why it's a tough choice because it's really doing a favor for Jen. The zero. It's you. You'd think, hey, I don't have to pay anything for this combination of island and um, and Viking. Why why wouldn't I always take that? Why wouldn't I always take it for free and save my money for other stuff? The reason for that is there's a very specific rule. You can never take the zero spot unless... Oh, actually, yeah, this actually worked out nicely for me. Oy. Um, sorry, I'd almost start over, but that's okay. You guys are very forgiving. Anyway, um, you can never take a, uh, a set from the zero spot unless two things are true. Either one, you have no money. If you, if you don't have enough money to pay for anything else, you get to take the freebie. Number two, which is more often the case, is you can take the freebie if it is the only example of that um, of, of that Viking on the board. And right now, there is only one blue Viking on the board, which means as a first player, I can take this um, uh, guy. You know, if it were over, if if this is where the zero had been to uh, to begin with, you know, arbitrarily, I would not be able to take the zero because there are actually four greens out. Um, and until you know this green and this green and this green are taken, then only then can this last one at the zero spot be taken. So it actually worked out quite nicely for me that since there's only one blue, I can take the freebie. So I'm going to do that, um, and I have to pay no money, and I got an island and a free Viking. And I'll uh, show how we actually place that in a second. But I'm embarrassed to say I forgot one important thing during setup. I grabbed all the tiles that are going to go around the uh, the wheel, but I forgot the special tiles. Um, every turn, four of these special tiles come out. Three, two boats, and a uh, fancy building spot. Okay, so those four um, special tiles have come out. Those give you um, special benefits. They break the rules in various ways. Um, the only way you can get these tiles, you get to take one for free every time you buy the most expensive set on the rondelle. So right now, on the first turn, if I had paid 11 bucks. That's a lot of my 30 bucks to get this ship and this boatsman. I would pay. I would have been paying the most, and therefore I would get to take any one of these four for free. Um, so that's a you know normally you want to save money, you want to buy down at the cheaper end, but that becomes a really enticing thing to pay big money and uh, and, and get the extra bonuses, which you know can make or break you. Anyway, though, I grabbed the cheapo freebie because it worked out that way nicely for me. And um, so now we come over here, and I'm going to have to place this. Now, at the beginning of the game, um, all players get one free starter tile, as evidenced by the uh, special symbol on the back. Everybody gets one of these. Um, and when you're going to place your first tile that you've picked up, first you have to place this uh, special tile. So I have to decide, where do I want to start building my colonies? I could do it up here and start getting um, soldiers to protect me from the ships, which appear up here. I could put him down here and start building an island for nobles. Nobles score points. You can see by default every noble I've got scores two points. I could put it down here to start building a, um, uh, a line of islands to put my scouts on. Scouts score points if they are scouting for um, the two guys below. If, I, if, I, if there was a scout here, and then there was also a goldsmith here and a fisherman here on their own tiles, you know, a yellow and a blue guy, this guy would score two points. Um, or I'm sorry, three points. As you can see, he scores one point for himself and then one additional point for every um, goldsmith he's looking over and every fisherman he's looking over. So right now, he just scored one point all by himself. But if there was a yellow guy and a blue guy here, he'd score two points. But anyway, I don't have him anyway. That was just an example. Um, the goldsmith, they don't score any points, but they make me three bucks every turn. And, you know, 
money goes fast in this game, so you definitely need a lot of money. You really need your goldsmiths working for you. And then lastly, um, fishermen. Um, fishermen down here don't do a damn thing for you throughout the entire game. But at the very, very end of the game, um, when we're doing final scoring, you have to feed every single Viking you've put into your world. And for every Viking you can't feed, you lose points. So that's why over the course of the game, you're saving up to get yourself um, some fishermen um, because you don't want to lose points. So, um, now what I drew is I got, um, I got a right tile, which means uh, it closes off an island, and I've got my um, little fisherman. So, um, if I want this fisherman to be in action, the only place I can, there's two places I can put him. I can put him on the tile as I place it in my world, or I can put him up here with the gray boatsman, which means later on in the game, he can actually get ferried out to any tile I want. So if I put him up here, later in the game I can put him, um, you know, I have a lot of control over where I put him, or I place him now, which means he can only go here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to actually put him in action, which means um, this first uh, island I've got would have to go, I can put it wherever I want. I'm going to put it down here um, to start a left island so that I can put this closer here to close off this right island. And I've actually made my first island now where you can see um, I've got one fisherman. Again, um, I didn't have to put the fisherman here. If I, if I didn't care about the fisherman right now, I could have instead you know, put this any place. And I, you know, I, I could have put this. Um, I couldn't put it here because it would be, you know, I, I could only put it here because it would be closing off an island. And because this is not the row for blue, my blue would go up here and wait till later in the game to get ferried out to an island. But instead, I'm just going on ahead and I'm, I'm getting in early on my fisherman needs, um, so I don't have to worry about that later in the game. So I've got one fisherman who will feed, if I recall correctly, I think every fisherman feeds two Vikings at the end of the game. Is that right? Um, end of game, end of game. Let's see, over and under. E for your revision Viking each fisherman standing on four Vikings every um, fisherman I've got takes care of um, four Vikings um, and himself includes so this guy is going to feed five people including himself at the end of the game so not bad um, now let's see what Jen's going to do because it's her turn so we come back over here and because the zero space is now empty this happens whenever the zero space gets empty the wheel updates and moves until there's something new in the zero so now um, there's this gold guy who's in the zero space. And that's unfortunately really very, very handy for Jen. I gave her that on a silver platter. No brainer. Of course, she's going to take a goldsmith, because gold is so important, and this tile and put it over in her world. So let's put this down. So again, um, she's got this starter world, and I'm going to arbitrarily say she's going to start an island to get ready to um, put soldiers on to defend her from attackers. And this other tile that she just picked up, which is a beautiful, beautiful left tile. Left island tiles are probably the most valuable in the game because without them, you can't start new islands, as you would imagine. So um, I've got a left tile. I can't put it here, obviously, because I can't start a left after another left. But I can put it in any other spot. She's going to put it here in the goldsmith spot because that means she gets to place her goldsmith for free. So right off the bat, she's making money. That was very nice for her. It was very sweet of me, wasn't it? Anyway, so let's move on. Now things get a little bit more interesting. Shunk. Now, we can, as I said earlier, we cannot take the zero because there's some greens. So there's going to be this situation where, well, you know, we want this last green guy, but um, you know, we don't want to be the guy to take um, the last of the other greens so that the other player gets it for free. But anyway, so I can't take that, so I'm going to have to start paying money, and I have to ask myself, what do I want? Now, you'll notice the most expensive tile has gotten a little bit cheaper. It's only 9 now, where it used to be 11. So if I want to get a freebie super tile, I could go on ahead and make a big jump and um, buy this ship as the most expensive. Um, but that's very expensive. Let's see if there's something else I'd like to do. And there is. You know what? I was saying how important green tiles are, or I'm sorry, left tiles. Because again, you have to look at this way. This is a left island. Um, this only cost me one. I'm just going to go ahead and pay one buck. Boink. And drop it on the floor. Um, and buy this set. Bring it over here. Now again, I can either put the green guy up here to be delivered later, or I can start building a new island, which is what I'm going to do. So I've started getting some scouts. That scout's going to be worth one point when he scores. Unfortunately, since my blue guy's over here, if my blue guy had been here, this scout would score two points, but no such luck. Anyway, so I bought that, and now um, the zero's still filled, so the wheel doesn't move forward. Now it's Jen's turn. She can't buy that. What's she going to buy? Um, let's see. She is going to buy... She's going to um, pay a little bit of money and jump all the way up here and get this noble. So that costs her six. Uh, six bucks. Jumping up here to get the noble. Let's put it over here. 
And now again, she's going to um, again. You know, these left tiles are so awesome. With I mean, if if all the you know, there are times when no left tiles come out, and you you've got all these other islands, and I need a left tile to start a new island. Um, and you know that can be really really painful. But um, Jen's doing very nicely. She's already started three island chains. Um, and again, she's going to for free put her noble down here instead of leaving up here for later delivery. And that costs her six. So that was the first big spend of the game. Now it's my turn. Um, Let's see. Now, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? You know what? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a frugal money saving strategy, and Jen's gonna go to for broke and just spend money like crazy. That's kind of I've decided those are what our strategies are. So I'm gonna go cheap. This um, green costs me two bucks. So two bucks. I take this pair, and it's another scout coming over here. Now, um, obviously, uh, this is the only place I can put this because I can't put a uh, left, you know, on, on any of these other spaces. So I'm gonna put it here. I'm going to put my scout down. And hey, what do you know? Um, this scout is going to be worth two points because he's scouting out this fisherman. Um, so that was mine. Now, Jen coming over here. Remember, she's uh, Miss Moneybags. She doesn't think twice about money. She's got a decision. Oh, a tough decision. There's another one of those sweet, sweet left tiles. But if she takes that, um, you know, which costs her three bucks, that leaves this one for me. Um, and I'll get that for free. Although, oh, Oh, that's very nice, actually. Because um, here's the problem. And she's going to do exactly that. Um, because you'd think, oh, that'll be great for me. I'll get a tile for free. That's not going to happen, as we'll show you. Okay, so she's going to take this for three. She gets another sweet lefter and a, uh, what's call it called? A, a scout. And she's going to start another. So she's actually doing very, very well. And, you know, this guy's worth two points. One and the guy he's scouting for two. This noble's worth two. So she's kicking off. None of these score yet. The scoring only happens every once in a while. But, it, you know, she's getting herself in a good position. Um, and that cost her, what was it? Three. So one, two, three. There goes her cash. Now, um, hey, look at that. There's only one green left. I can take the green. Awesome. Um, it fits my frugal, fiscally responsible strategy. However, if I take this for free... Um, you know, when I get the green and, and I come over here, this is a right island. I've got no place to put it. I can't put it here because this is a closed island. This is a closed island. I can't put it out here. And so that means if I take this for free, I will literally throw this tile away. An incredibly wasteful move because you want to get as many islands built out here as you can. So Jen has played me for a sucker as per usual. So I'm not going to take that because I don't want to have an action literally throw away an entire tile. So I'll put that back. I won't get the nice free one. So I'm going to have to come over here and pay um some dinero let's see now these are both right tiles and since i haven't gotten any lefts um and in fact i got i got a lot of rights so i've closed off islands so these right tiles are kind of um no good for me either because i won't be able to take them this middle tile won't be any good because again there's no left tiles i really should have grabbed some more left tiles i have not played very well so okay screw um my fiscally responsible strategy i'm gonna go whole hog and um try and get some of these bonus points instead since pretty much all of these tiles are no good for me because they're all um you know closed to which i say curses so i'm gonna pay nine bucks uh, so that's, there's my 10, I get a buck back, and take this uh, combo of a boatsman and a ship. So, um, the boatsman goes up here, this is where all your gray guys go, and they stay here until later in the game when they actually will ferry out, you know, um, you know like I, I kept saying, you know, when I, when I picked up guys, I could have put them here. Um, you know, at certain points in the game, these ferrymen can um, ferry out people to where they need to go. So, I've gotten him, and I've gotten this. I can put this um, attacking ship in space one, two, or three. I can't put it in space four, um, you know, or beyond until all three of these have been filled up. But at the beginning of the game, I can put it in any spot. So I'm going to put it here. And um, here's what happens. Oh no, I am not going to put it here. I'm going to put it uh, there. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to put it here. No, I'm going to put it here. Okay. Right. So I put it there. This ship is currently attacking my colonies without um, any soldiers protecting me. If I had an island here with a black pawn on it, then I would be able to protect this space. But I don't, so I can't. So you'll notice the color of these sails are blue. That means this ship successfully attacks all the way down the chain to my blue row, all the way down to the bottom, and knocks out any Vikings along the way. So 
this guy gets knocked out, which means when the scoring happens, he will not score me any points. I've got to get a soldier up here to protect him before the scoring happens so I can actually save the day. So, um, that's kind of a bummer. But, on the flip side, I paid my, what was it, 11, 9 bucks? I already paid it, didn't I? Uh, ooh, let's see, 30. Um, yeah, I only have 15. I'm sure I must have paid it because I don't have much money left. Um, let's see. So, I get to take one of these four things. And what, what are my choices? I can take this guy, which makes um, Fisherman worth an additional point at the end of the game. I can take either of these, which changes the rules for how the ferryman carries guys out to the islands. Or I can take this, which changes the rules of how I can um, expand my islands and score additional points for like smart layout. Actually, I don't really like any of those, but I'm going to take a boat just because this is always handy. Now, I'm going to hold on to this. I'll just put it up here with um, next to my boatsman because this gives me more power later on in the game when I have the boatsman delivering guys out to the various islands. So I, I paid through the notes for that, and now it's Jen's turn. Um, and wouldn't you know, she's going to go ahead and get this for free because we come over here. She can close off her island because she grabbed all those lefties. Boy, I, I, I'm not doing very well. Lefts, I can't stress enough how important lefts are. So, and she's placing her other scout for free, and she's got a nice little enclosed island. Lovely for her, and it was free. Coming back over. Yoop. So, my turn again. And now this other ship has gotten a lot um, cheaper. Now, the most expensive thing on the board only cost me four. Um, and again, remember, these things don't do me any good because I can't actually place any of them, which really sucks. Donkey balls. Sorry for the language, but um, so I'm just going to pay four bucks, uh, five, get one change, and get the other ship. So I'm really kind of screwing myself here um, by giving myself all the attackers. Um, all right, and so I'm going to put this one here because if I put it here, this has a green sail, which means he would knock out this guy as well. Um, but I'm not. I'm going to put him over here, which means since I haven't built anything, I don't really mind the fact that he's there because he's not going to attack any of my islands. Um, but unfortunately, since I knew I was going to take both of them, I knew one of them was going to have to attack the island, so um, I, I, I took the blue guy first so I could get the bonus tile, and I put him here because he goes all the way down, and I don't have any fishermen down here anyway, so I figured it was less harmful to put him here. Anyway, so I've got this new ship, and I've got uh, a soldier, which is awesome. Soldiers can protect me from the ships and score points, but I have no islands to put him on. So he goes up here, and later on the ferryman will be able to put him out there. And so now I'm going to get another bonus tile. And um, I'm going to take this um, bonus scoring bonus tile this time, which again, um, the way this works is if I had already previously placed a tile that has this um, um, building on it, like say over here, like this tile has that building. And say at some point or other, I had actually built the, that building. Um, having this tile means I can now replace it. With, with a fancy version of the building, and I will score additional points for every space that is now adjacent to this building. So this can, this can be really nice combinatorial uh, super score things, um, and that's why I'm taking it. I, I can't put it now because I don't have that, so again, I just kind of put it off to the side and save it for later. Let me put this back where it was because I didn't actually have this. So anyway, so I got another big bonus tile. Hopefully that'll pay off in the future. And now it's Jen's turn. She cannot take this zero because there's other reds. So she's going to choose which red, and it's kind of a no-brainer. She's going to pay three bucks. Uh, let's see. There's a ten. Get seven and change. Uh, she's going to pay three bucks to get this little guy. Um, as you recall, that I had the building, although it doesn't mean anything for her because she didn't get the special. Um, so it was a good thing I grabbed that special before she did because this is now the most expensive building. So she could have gotten this and the special and done even better. But I, I snuck the special before she got it, but she still got the nice building. And she's going to bring it over here, and she's going to uh, start extending her noble line because she wants to place this noble for free. So it goes there. Um, and so this island can keep getting longer. You can see, you can have small little two-spacer islands, or you can have islands that get really, really long, like five, six um, tiles long. Um, and that also comes into scoring at the end of the game. There's bonus points for having the longest island in the game. There's bonus points for having the most islands in the game. So, you know, that's a long-term strategy as well, is how you lay all these things out. So anyway, so she bought that. Um, it didn't change anything. I cannot take this, even though as much as I want to, because it's free. So instead, I have to pay one. Boink to um, take this guy, and unfortunately, um, I've got no place to put this. So this tile is out of the game. 
Too bad, so sad for me. And this noble won't be doing anything special for me. He goes up and waits for his chance to be ferried out to an island. And then Jen, as always, she has played brilliantly. It's worked out perfectly for her. Oh, oh but um, I did just buy the most expensive thing, so I get another uh, bonus tile. And my bonus tile... See, I've already got one of those uh, special boats. But whichever one I don't take, Jen's going to get. Do I want bonus points for fishermen? Or do I want another... I'm going to take bonus points for fishermen. So this will score uh, later on. And um, so then we come back to Jen. She gets the last thing for free. Um, and wouldn't you know, she's going to close off her beautiful little noble island right there. With no ships attacking it. So delightful. Did I mention how important the left tiles are? And um, so she's going to score a boatload of points for that. Um, and th that was the most expensive thing. Or actually, do you get... If you take the zero, do you get a free tile? Maybe you don't. That would be nice for me. Um, let's see. Layout tiles. Take special tiles. Um, however, when the player requires the set at zero, he does not take... So she did not get the special tile. Ha! <laughs> Hooray me. So this special tile is out of the game also. She didn't get that. That was the end of the first turn. Now, um, there are six turns in the game, as I mentioned. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Every odd-numbered turd turns two, three, and five. At the end of the turn, you do a... Let's see if you can see it. A um, gold score. So if you have any goldsmiths, they make money. Now me, I have no goldsmiths. Jen, she has a goldsmith. So she's going to make three smackers right now. One, two, three. Um, but, and that's it. That happens on the odds. On the evens, two, four, and six, all kinds of crazy scoring stuff happens. Um, so I'm going to play through another round so you can actually see how that works out. So we're on to the next turn. Um, the first player marker will now go to Jen. Um, and we need to put out some new tiles. So we grab the second pile and start placing them. Uh, let's see, and here's where the zero is. So there's the first island. Um, here's the first boat. Island. And again, you know, this is a kind of a thing where if you have multiple players, uh, they can kind of share the responsibilities for this, since it's all random, and this can go much, much quicker. Uh, this might seem a little bit more slow and painful there's a second boat. But in actual play, it's totally, totally cool. So again, only two boats. There is going to be a reckoning coming. There's going to be some turn where there's you know six or seven boats that come out. Um, fortunately, I'm not going to play that long because that'll be a painful, painful turn unless we've gotten our soldiers in play. So, um, and now again, we have to put out 12 Vikings. So let me go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, nine, 10, 11... 12. You know, and again, this, you know, one person can be putting out the Vikings while the other person is putting out the tiles. Let's see. So, uh, and how's it work? The um, going backwards, uh, grays at 11s. Ah, we have three soldiers this time. Um, let's see. Uh, and then nobles. Three nobles. Uh, no scouts. And then we move on to, oh, here's where all the goldsmiths were. Hopefully I'll get a goldsmith this time. And then finally, two fishermen. Okay, and now I should actually mention there is a um, variant in the rules for a more advanced version of the game that you can play if you want, where um, when you draw the 12 Vikings, instead of just putting them in the prescribed order of colors like I just did, uh, players can take turn um, in an auction to bid for where they want to put the colors, which gives you a bit more control, but it also makes the game a bit more complicated. Jen and I generally don't play that way because we think there's enough depth as it is, but for um, people who really want um, something to mull over, you can have that auction phase as well, um, which really changes the game up. But anyway, so Jen's going first. She can't take this zero because there's another zero. Um, let's see, what's she going to want to do? She is going to, yes, she is going to, oh, ah, sorry, she's going to pay a lot of money. Um, not Oh, and I forgot the bonus tiles that come out. Another one of those boat ma guys. A guy that um, makes your goldsmiths make more money. Oh, that'd be nice. Another one of those uh, bonus area tiles. And a tile that um, gives you um, more score, uh, helps you score at the end of the entire game. Another nice bonus for that. So looking around, let's see. Again, there's one, two, three, four lefties. And again, you can't... You can't say no to those lefties. So Jen's probably going to want to snag one of those because she's got a lot of, of dough. And what's she going to snag? She's going to go ahead and snag this goldsmith. That costs her three bucks. One, two, three. And 
and oh, now that's interesting. She'd like to put this, um, you know, in the goldsmith row, you know, the the yellow row, and you'll be able to put her guy down. But there's already a left, so she can't put another left there because you have to, you know, make complete islands. So this goldsmith is going to wait for ferrying, and she's going to put this thing. Uh, she is going to start her fisherman tiles. Um, she could have started her nobles. She could have started another line for uh, Scottish, but she, I'm just kind of arbitrarily. I'm just saying she's going to start that line. Now it's my turn. Um, what am I going to go for? Ear. Uh, I need a lefty. I need a lefty so bad, don't I? So um, I am going to buy the cheapest lefty I can, this noble, at six. And it's going to cost me six. Ten. Four. Oh, I'm, I'm already running low on funds. This is not good. Uh, so I'm going to grab, where was he? Oh, what a, yeah. I'm going to grab this uh, lefty. Now, so coming back over here. Um, I could start building my noble tile and put the noble on here for free. Um, however, I'm not going to do that. The noble's going to wait up here with his turn because I need, uh, so, so I can actually put this someplace else and start building up my defenses. So I'm actually going to put this here so that later on I can ferry my soldier down here so he will protect me from this boat, which means this guy will wake up just in time. And so that cost me three. Um, and I was a little bit less efficient with putting the guys out, but hey, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Jen's turn. What's she going to do? She's going to go for her other left? She's going to take the other left? E hmm. Um, well, she could, and that would be another left. But interestingly, um, you know what? No, she's not. She's actually going to pay through the nose. She's going to do one of these pay full price things and pay 11 um, and get this boat. Um, and the reason for that, again, she could put this boat here, here, or here. Um, and let's see, where does she want to put it? I guess I'll put it out over here where it will probably do the least damage. It's a, green, a blue sail, so it knocked out everybody down to blue. This noble is knocked out. But really, she did it to get this gray guy, because this was the only ferryman out there. And if she didn't grab this gray guy, she might not have a chance to ferry anybody out to the islands before scoring happens. So that's why she grabbed that. And again, she paid full price, so she gets um, a nice tile. Let's see. This village, the, you know, the bonus village, is right here. So if she can grab both of those, that's pretty nice for her. But she knows it's my turn next, and so I might very well grab that. Uh, let's see. So she's going to, actually, she's going to grab one of these boats too. So she has a little bit more control. No, she's not too, because I'm going to demonstrate how that works with me. She's going to grab um, this and hopefully she'll get the, uh, the matching thing. So that just goes over here and she'll try and use it later. My turn. And now I need to grab that so she can't take it. But it's another goddamn medium island tile, which I wouldn't be, well, I'd be able to put it up here, but I wouldn't be able to put my goldsmith on it. Because this is the place where soldiers go. Oh, that's a tough choice. Oh, what do I want to do? Do I want to take that? I can't let her just have... I mean, ugh, I can't let her have those points. So, I'm going to pay four bucks. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's just awful. That's just awful. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I only have seven bucks. Uh, yeah. All right, I'll take it. Four. And so I get that, I get that, I pay four bucks, one, two, three, four. Oh, so painful. And now, again, unfortunately, I can't do the nice efficient thing. Um, I have to put them up there for later sailing, because this can't go here on the gold line. It can't go here, it can't go here, it could go here. So now I've got two places to put soldiers when I do fairing later on. Jen's turn. Um, let's see, what's she going to want? Oh, is she going to... You know what? She is going... How much money does she have? She has seven bucks left. She's burned through her money. So she can't buy any of these now. Um, what's she going to buy? So she can't buy any more lefties. Ooh, nice. So what's she going to spend? Oh, gosh. This is going to be so beautiful for her. Um, she is brilliantly figuring it out. She is going to spend seven bucks and grab this. She almost doesn't even care. She just wants to spend her seven bucks. And I'll explain why. This is very important. So uh, she spent her last seven bucks. She is now completely broke. And this is a righty. Um, it's a noble. She can't put it on her noble thing because uh, uh, there's already a closed thing there. Oops. So instead, the noble will wait patiently and she will, I don't know, uh, close off her, you know, um, the place where she can put soldiers. All right, my turn. Now, um, oh, I so want that lefty, but I can't get it because, again, you can't get the lefties 
unless it's the last, you know, there's such as no blue, I can't take it. But remember, there's the other way you can take it. If you're out of money, if you're completely broke, you can always take the zero. And that's what Jen just did. So next turn, with no money in her coffers, she's going to be able to take the last lefty on the, oh no, there's another lefty. Ooh, I want that lefty. I only have three bucks. I can't do it. So I can't buy any of these. So I'm going to buy this or this. <sighs> wow, that's just awful. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to pay two bucks and get this goldsmith so I can actually make some gold. But again, can't put it on the gold line. Another. Oh, this is not working out very prettily for me. And I'll put this up here and extend my soldier island a little bit further. Now it's Jen's turn and she's broke. So she's going to get the left for free. Brilliantly played. And she can't put it here, here, or can't put it here, here, because there's already left buildings or island starting. So she's going to put it, uh, she's going to start um, an island for her next uh, soldier. But again, she pulled a blue, so she can't put it on there. So this blue guy goes into waiting. Now, I'm playing very fast and rough, and maybe not the smartest I could, but it's just to give you an idea of how everything works. So we come over here. This is now moved. And hey, I could get that fisherman for free with a left island that does me no good. But on the other hand, I've only got one buck. So I, can't, I have no choice. I can't afford the next expensive thing. So I have to take that. So I'll take it, and it costs me nothing. And I guess I will close off this island, because it's a legal place to put it. And um, I'll give this another guy waiting to be ferried out. Um, and then swoosh. And um, let's see. So Jen can get that for zero. She has no choice. She's broke. She has to take it. Um, so... Uh, let's see, it's a right island piece, so she can't put it out here to put another noble out. So she, the noble goes up, and she's going to, arbitrarily, she's going to close off this um, island. So she's got another little island. She's well on her way to getting the bonus points at the end of the game for having most completed islands, by the way. So this moved again. Swoosh. I've got one dollar. I can't get this because there's more blacks. I've got one dollar, so I have to pay a dollar and get this. And when you know, happy day for me, it's a goddamn left. Finally. Finally. So I've got to decide, where do I want to put this left? Um, I'd like to put it up here for more soldiers, but then I'd have a soldier way the hell out here protecting nothing. So this soldier's going to have to get ferried as well. So I can put it here, 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 or here. I have to start thinking about who am I going to ferry out with, um, you know, at the, at the end of the turn. Uh, I'm going to have one gray guy. Let's see. I want to... Carry out the blacks now. Uh, I'm going to put it here. So I can start actually putting some nobles out so I can score some points. No, I'm not. I'm going to put it out here. Sorry. So I can actually get a goddamn black or blacksmith so I can make some money because I am so poor now. So I put that there. Um, it cost me my last dollar. Now it's Jen's turn. She has no money. She has to take this. So she has a uh, black. She's going to put her black guy up for delivery later. Um, this will go, this middle piece will go down here for her fisherman spaces. And now my last, you know, and this moves up and I get a, I get a boat for free, but I get another black guy and I have no choice. I have to put this boat here um, because remember, I have to fill the first three spots before we build out further. And um, a black guy who can't deliver, wouldn't you know, or I'm sorry, not a black guy, a soldier, a soldier. Anyway, so we're all filled up. Nobody got any more of these bonuses because we were both broke, so we were never paying through the nose. So these are all out of the game. Um, and you'll notice it's now big payday time. So we actually do an interim scoring phase. Um, so here's the effects. Here's what happens on the interim scoring phases. The boatsmen we have can move out um, guys. Now, normally, it's one guy per boatsman. So, I mean, I've got all these guys who want to get out to the islands and only one boatsman to do it. Um, so that's kind of unfortunate. However, remember earlier, I got this um, bigger boat. So the boatsman can do, uh, now I have a choice with this boatsman. He can either take as many guys of one color that I want to send out, or he can take out one of each available color. So I could either, if I use this boat, I can either send out all three of my soldiers, which would be awesome, and it's probably what I'm going to do to put on these three islands to pretend, protect against these, or I could have one black guy go out and one yellow guy go out, and one red guy go out, and one blue guy go out. So that'd be nice, because I'd get four. I'd fill up a lot more islands, um, but uh, those islands would get hit by these um, nasty attackers. Oh, this is a tough choice. Which one should I do? Because I can get, I'd never get the soldier to protect these, and then I'd get some points, and I'd get some money, and I'd set up my fishermen. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the defense. I'm going to do the defense instead. So um, this one, using my bonus tile, which is now out of the game, this boatsman 
is going to send out one, two, three soldiers, which means, oh, by the way, this guy should have been knocked over earlier by the attack. Um, get back up, buddies. Get back to work because the soldiers are doing their job. And if there was anybody uh, down this row, this soldier would be saving them as well. But he'll save guys later. So that was my delivery. Um, the gray guy is out. And um, these guys will wait till later in the game to get ferried out. Jen, she's going to do some fairing. She has no special bonus tile. Um, so, oh, but look at this. I totally forgot. She has the um, level one version of this. So she should have put this down here a while ago. Thusly. Now, since she's only got um, one gray guy, she can only put one guy out there. And who's she going to do? Who is she going to do? She's got a lot of colors. She could. She's going to make some more money. She, her gray guy is going to put out this additional goldsmith, and now her gray guy is gone, and those people stay. So now we can do the scoring. Um, so let's look at the scoring. I score for successfully fighting off these marauders. I get three points, five bucks, and five more bucks. So I just made ten bucks and three points. One, two, three, and ten bucks. Well done me for saving the realm. Um, my scouts, they're ready to go. This guy makes one point. He's not scouting anybody. This guy makes one point for himself and then another point. So this is one, two, three points. So I make three more points. One, two, three. Um, fishermen's don't do squat. Remember, they feed us at the end of the game, so they're very important. Um, let's see. Oh, wait, I've got this bonus top for fishermen. I think that's only at the end of the game, though. Uh, for each fisherman standing on a towel. Oh, no, okay. This is nice. Um, since I have this, my fisherman, who normally would wait till the end of the game to be useful, actually is going to score me a point right now. So, not bad. And um, But I never got a chance to put this tile out, but I'll hold on to it. Hopefully, I'll get to do it later. Jen's score now. Let's see. She did not hold back this attacker. Um, and in fact, this attacker knocked out this noble. But she's got these two. So this is two and four for her nobles. Two, four. Five, six, seven, eight for the scouts who are watching the goldsmith. So she made eight points total. Uh, so she actually scored one more than me. And she's got two blacksmith working who are going to make three bucks a piece. So she made six bucks. And that's the end of that. So um, now we move on to the next turn. I would be first player again. We'd put out new tiles. New um, Vikings would come out. New special effects would come out. And um, we're in a situation now where neither of us are broke again. I've got ten bucks. Um, she's got five bucks. It's really interesting in this game. It's a totally viable strategy to go broke because that gets you first access to those what can be a very very nice um, zero tile. But at the same time, you want to spend a lot of money to get these uh, you know the high price tiles so you can get the specials. So there's always a, a lot of give and take. At the end of the game, um, you know once you once you've done your last pile, you do a scoring like normal, and then you do final scoring. Where like I said, you get bonus points. I've got right now. I've got the longest complete island. This one's four. Jen's her longest is three. So I'd score points for this island. And I've got one, two, three complete islands. She's got one, two, three, four. So she'd score points for having more complete islands. Um, again, you have to feed your people. And if you um, have leftover fish after you fed them, you get bonus points. If you don't feed all your people, you lose points. There's a, there's some other scoring stuff. Some of the special things make additional scoring, like um, you know these uh, surrounding guys. But I think that gives you a basic idea of all the particulars. And here, here let, let's see what I have to say. I've already said enough, haven't I? Haven't I? This game's wonderful. Um, it's, uh, I hope that gave you a pretty good idea of kind of, I, I remember reading on The Geek, one guy said, you know, it's like kind of like a back alley knife fight, um, because this game you are definitely trying to get in and get the stuff, and it's really obvious who needs what, and just how bad should they take it, but if I take that to prevent them from having that, that lets them get at the zero, and they get something for free, and there's every turn, there's these really agonizing decisions, and yeah, that's just what makes this game so much fun. Now, unfortunately, it's, I believe it's out of print, but uh, supposedly somebody said it's going to be coming out. It's going to get a reprint from Rio Grande sometime in the near future. But you know what? Don't wait. If you can find a way to get this game, definitely do. You'll have a great, great time. And um, that's pretty much all there is to say about that. I really need to come up with some kind of sign-off. Uh, good night and have a pleasant tomorrow. How about that? I think I stole that from somewhere, but it'll do. Uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.